What's good YouTube? While the iPhone 12 does offer a brand new design with more squared off edges and a OLED display, it's a continuation of the iPhone 10's initial design of not having a home button and therefore you're going to have to familiarize yourself with all the touch and swipe gestures on the iPhone 12 to maximize its usefulness. In this video, we'll be going over some of the most common gestures that you can use on the iPhone 12 to make sure you get the most out of it. If you like this kind of content, leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. To go back from the home screen from any app, simply swipe up from the bottom portion of the screen of your phone. Multitasking gesture is a swipe up and pause and you'll be greeted with the multi window feature on the iPhone 12. From this menu, you can individually close apps by swiping up on them and you can also close multiple apps by swiping with two fingers. Swipe left or right from the bottom of the screen to switch between active apps. On an iPhone with a home button, control center would normally be accessed by swiping up from the bottom of the screen, but without the home button here, simply swipe down from the top right edge of the iPhone to access the control center. In order to access your widgets, you can swipe right from the home screen and you can scroll through all your active widgets. To take a screenshot on the iPhone, simply press the side button and the volume up button at the same time. If you tap and hold on an app, you can see the list of shortcuts that you can access from the app, rearrange the home screen and also have the option to remove the app as well. To see your notifications, swipe from the top left of the screen left to the notch in order to access your notification menu. Since the inception of iOS 13, we've had the ability to select and drag the scroll bar. So in most apps with the scroll bar, simply hit the scroll bar and then drag up or down to quickly navigate the page. The iPhone 12 also comes equipped with gestures to allow you to quickly navigate editable text. To access the edit bar on a text field where you can edit the text, tap the screen with three fingers quickly and the edit bar will show up. Swipe left to undo the last text edit and swipe right to redo the last text edit. You can also move the cursor around by selecting it with your finger and moving it around as you please. To quickly select a word in an editable text menu, simply double tap on the word triple tap on the word to select the whole sentence. So there you have it everyone, gestures that will hopefully make navigating your iPhone 12 much easier. If you like this kind of content or have a gesture that's not on this list, leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.